Hello, this is No Face Movements, January 15th, 2013. And I'm bringing news on hunting bees and regular bees that are uh, disappearing and declining around the world. Um, they're very important to us. All right? um, you know, people don't realize everything in this world has a job to do. Every animal, every insect, every human being. All right? Um, if all the bees disappear, then we can't have crops, we can't have flowers. Um, it'd be a devastating thing with no bees because they pollinate. Now they're hiring people in other countries like China to pollinate uh, for the bees. All right. Um, the reason the bees are declining um, is from solar rays coming through our atmosphere. It's from chemtrails. Because the first things that are going to get poisoned are the tiniest of creatures and animals. From aluminum oxide and, uh, and other material that's in the uh, chemtrails. Alright, let's move on. Let's start this uh, article. This report was on Friday that was made. Um, I found it today. So, uh, let's start it. Uh, could this be the end of the world? A mysterious decline in bees, which pollinate billions of dermans worth of crops globally, could signify an impending catastrophe. Is it just the effects of war, pesticides, or mobile phones reducing their numbers? Nick Harding reports. Look at the little bee. Albert Einstein once said, if the bee disappeared off the surface of the globe, then men would only have four years of life left. No more bees? No more pollination, no more plants, no more animals, no more men. Einstein wasn't an insect expert, but he had a point. The humble honeybee is an integral part of the global ecosystem. Honey is just one aspect of what this entomological wonder does. As a pollinator, it ensures crops reproduce. So although a world without honey would be a poorer place, men would survive, but without plants, we become extinct. The beekeeping industry plays a pivotal role in the agricultural sector, not only supplying hive products such as honey, pollen, beeswax, and royal jelly, but more importantly, helping farmers increase the yield of their crops through pollination. A recent study by the Bee Research Unit at the National Center for Agricultural Research in Jordan showed that the total value of the 12 crops commonly pollinated by honeybees in the Middle East reached 117.5 million in 2005. Of that, yields attributed to bee pollination are estimated to be 50.7 million annually. This is more than 16 times the value of the annual production of honey in the region, which is estimated as $3.1 million. Further afield, a 2000 study by Roger Morse and Nicholas Calderon of Cornell University attempted to quantify the effects of the western honeybee on U.S. food crops. They came up with a figure of $14.6 billion in food crop value. On a global scale, it is estimated a third of the food we eat is pollinated by bees. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization you hear a third of our uh, food of the world is pollinated by bees. Estimates that out of some 100 crop species that provide 90% of food worldwide, 71 of these are bee pollinated. In Europe alone, 84% of the 264 crop species grown for food are animal pollinated, and 4,000 vegetable varieties exist thanks to pollination by bees, which also play a crucial role in the conservation and preservation of the wild plant's biodiversity since they pollinate much of the world's wild flora. Alright, um, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on with these bees. You can read the rest at the bottom, uh, the link at the bottom of the video. But without bees, human species can't survive. We can survive without bees, but we can't survive without plants. Bees pollinate the plants, pollinate our food. Um, the plants, what do the plants do? Uh, make oxygen. All right. Um, one of the reason they're dying is because of chemtrails. Um, 
first things that are going to go are the small creatures to the plants, the most fragile life forms. It's already affecting humans. People uh, are getting sick from disease and viruses. Um, hair falling out, bodies aching. There's a lot of stuff going on. And another thing that are killing the bees is cell phones. We're going to take a more in-depth look at this. Um, please, I'm going to do a follow-up on this. This is the No Face Movement. Please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Blogspot, uh, Critterbox, and Godlike Production. This is the movement. Move, movement to next time. Facing off.